guys, welcome back to the channel. It's michaeljumlracer.com. Earlier you saw us unloading the Myers Bankster project. And we're really excited for this one. I can't give you a whole lot of details on where we're going on our adventure yet. Um, mainly for security reasons. We don't want people to know where we're gonna be at with the vehicle and all the things we're gonna be doing just this time. Uh, but we'll be sharing that later. But I wanna walk you through what you get with the kit, what comes with the kit. We've kind of got it unboxed here, here in the Grosbeck building. So walk you through that real quick. First thing we had to take part was, this is the actual cage that bolts in to the, the Myers that holds all of the body work, the, the rock sliders attaches, everything attached to this frame. This is going off for paint really soon. Uh, so this will be getting painted. This is gonna be kind of an off white color, which will match the wheels. Uh, the bodywork is here. Obviously this is the fiberglass body. The cool thing is uh, all of them have a serial number on them. So this is the serial number plates and everything there. It is a complete fiberglass bolt and body. Now the thing that's different about this kit and the original Manx is that this is a full frame kit. So this fits your standard Volkswagen chassis. You don't have to cut down the chassis like you do the other ones. You have to cut 14 inches out of a standard Manx chassis to make this work. So our pan has already been purchased. Engine, transmission, all that stuff's purchased. It's actually over at Brandon's shop just down the road. He's welding in some new floor pans and getting that all prepped, doing all the brake work, everything, why we have it all taken apart. Once it comes back from Brandon, we're gonna be bolting the body on, all of the metal work goes bolted in, and then we add all the other pieces here. So like over here we have the windshield, which is already mounted in its frame. This is the lower dash. We have the seats. All the interior stuff is pretty simple. We do have to pick out some gauges and things like that still. We've just been kind of doing an inventory. You're, originally you're uh, supposed to use the lights that came with it, but we're actually working with KC, who is gonna be the official supplier of the lights to Myers. So once we hear back from KC, they're actually sending us new headlights and then lights for the roof rack, which will be really cool. Uh, we got a roof basket that's going on top of this, which will have a sunshade on it. Uh, but we're not gonna have the traditional roof that they put on this model. And then over here, we've got just some of the other parts that came with the kit, the front bumpers, the rear crash bars, the exhaust system. So depending on, on which kit you buy, it pretty much comes with everything you need. The only thing we have to get for this still is the fuel cell and we were missing the upper dash, which they're supposed to be sending to us. So that's pretty much what you get in the kit. And we're excited to get really started on this thing and start putting it together. Uh, you will see this at the SEMA show. Uh, we're taking the hood off right now to take it over to Sean Starr, who's actually painting our other SEMA project right now. Uh, he's gonna paint the Explorers Club flag on the hood of this car, which will be really, really cool. And then all the rest of the uh, sponsors will get painted on later. So yeah, we're just cranking away and ready for SEMA. <laughs> 